You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, we're going to be talking about ESPN here in this video and the WNBA. Now, I know that most of you guys always ask in the comments, what is a WNBA? Good question. It is nothing more than a virtue signal. It started back in, I believe, 1996, if I'm not mistaken. This league is irrelevant. I'm going to repeat that again. The league is irrelevant. It loses money every year. It has never made a profit. And the only reason why it's actually in operation is because the NBA subsidizes the WNBA. Now, I don't know why any w, WNBA owner actually wants to own the team. Now, of course, you know, that's definitely not their main operation. I mean, these uh, WNBA owners, I guess, you know, they're billionaires and they just have some money to blow. And that's pretty much it, because if this is your only operation, you're not going to make money. You're just not. But ESPN, they actually have um, the rights to the WNBA because I believe that's the only place you can actually see a WNBA game. The only reason why anybody actually knows about the WNBA is because of Brittany Griner. And that had nothing to do with her actually being on the basketball court. It had all to do with her getting arrested and convicted in Russia. And she was locked up for about 10 months. That is the only reason why anybody knows about the WNBA. But since ESPN is tied to the WNBA, they have to hype up the WNBA. Like, look at this right here. They actually put out a breaking news signing for a WNBA player that almost nobody knows about. And I do mean nobody. Look at this. It says breaking the L.A. Sparks and Naka Oyu Mikey. I don't even know how to pronounce her last name. I'm not disrespecting her last name, but that that is how little she is known. I don't even know how to pronounce her name. But I do know how to pronounce uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo because his name is hard to pronounce. But people actually do know who, who he is in the NBA. But anyway, it says has agreed to a one hundred and sixty five thousand dollar one year deal. Sources told M.A. Vopel. I mean, th this ain't Brian Windhorse. I mean, they don't even have a link to this person's Twitter account right here. And boy, the comment section is roasting. ESPN. Boy, I don't I don't know why ESPN does this. I remember I believe this was probably about um, three weeks ago. They did the same thing. Front page news talking about a new bit three. And I don't even know the team. It was actually on their front page. You know, the, I mean, they were acting like, you know, like Patrick Mahomes was going and signing with the Patriots or something like that. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about the WNBA. Look at this here. They put it up there. Breaking news. She's actually signing with the L.A. Sparks. Yeah, this ain't the Lakers, by the way, the Sparks. L look, let's look at some of these here. Let's look at this. <laughs> uh, first. Comment here. McClung got paid one hundred thousand dollars for winning the. Slam dunk contest. WNBA star gets paid one hundred and sixty five thousand for one year. Bit disparity. Well, the NBA, as much as we actually come down on them, they actually still gen generate something like eight or nine billion dollars a year in revenue. The WNBA operating in the red. And guys, I got to be honest. If I was actually working for a company for 26, 27 years and they never made a profit. Guess what? Operations would actually be closed down and she's getting one hundred and sixty five thousand dollars from the NBA. Make no mistake about it, WNBA is not paying her. They don't have the capital to pay any of their players. It is the NBA that is paying this. Oh, boy. Even right here, common says if it wasn't for the NBA supplementing the WNBA, there wouldn't be a WNBA right on the money. Look at this one here. One hundred and sixty five K for playing a sport that almost nobody watches. Seems fair. <laughs> Boy. 
Uh, let's see here. What else we got here? Let's see here. They, they, they're they going to blast it on that. Uh, how did they come up? How did they have the cap space? I don't even know the cap for um, the WMEA, but the top player, when it comes to, you know, Matt's, um, Matt Steele, Super Matt Steele, $223,000, $228,000 a year. That's it. There's actually guys in the NBA that can make that in one game. <laughs> but this is just how terrible the the WNBA is. Huh. Let's see here. Uh, damn, I know people who work and make that in a year. The WNBA is foul. Yeah, but the people that actually make usually make like one hundred and sixty five thousand dollars a year in a company. The company is actually usually probably making money. I mean, I've worked in the corporate world. And oil and gas, when companies actually aren't making money, not making profits, they're actually going to lay off people. In the WNBA, that is not the case because they are supplemented. Look, this is a woman here actually tweeting about it. WNBA generates zero in profit and lose money each year. WNBA only exists because the NBA uh, subsidized their league is literally a charity case. Yeah. That is exactly it. It is a charity case. I mean, this is pathetic, man. The WNBA, you know what? The players need to blame themselves because the WNBA, believe it or not, is actually more woke than the NBA. However, that players are relevant. People don't like the product. They're talking about. um, And I believe if I'm not mistaken, I believe she was the one where Brittany Griner was locked up in Russia. She was actually talking about uh, she's over there because of a. Uh, uh, pay equity. No, you generate no revenue. You generate no profit in your sport. That is the major difference. I mean, one day if um the WNBA actually started making money, guess what? Your pay is going to go up. It's just simple economics. But maybe some of the people playing the WNBA aren't very smart. In order to get money, you have to make money. It is just that simple. And Hey, 165, hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. I mean, you're playing a game of basketball. Playing a game of basketball, 165 for a lead that is a failure. But ESPN has to prop them up and make it seem like, hey, the WNBA is a net spit thing. When we know it's not. Nobody's watching it. And the people that are actually watching it, 70% of the people that actually watch the WNBA is actually older men. Women do not watch the WNBA. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.